Hey friends, I wanted to do a little um, first trimester recap for you because all the videos I posted were like us finding out and telling everybody, um, but I haven't sat down and like chatted with you guys, so I wanted to do that for you. I'm actually um, well into my second trimester now, um, but I still got it all up here. So I guess we'll start with like the two week symptoms before I even tested. And I feel like the truth of the matter is, is everybody's different. Like some people don't get any two week symptoms. Some people get a lot of two week symptoms um, before finding out that you're pregnant. So for me, I did get a few. I think at first it was like nothing. And then um, I did, it, I feel like my biggest one in the two weeks was probably insomnia. Granted, like we tried, we knew we were gonna be testing. Like it wasn't like, it's just some big shock or anything, you know, like it was it was planned. So for me, I, was, I had such bad insomnia to where I like, I couldn't sleep. I tossed and turned all night. I would get up and like, be like so cranky and be like, I can't sleep. Like we need a different bed. Like, you know, I don't know. I just was not having it um, pretty much for two weeks, but when I really like sit down and think about it, I'm like, was I having insomnia because I knew in two weeks I would be testing and like maybe I was just anxiously waiting for the two weeks to be up, you know? Um, so I don't know, but I did have pretty bad insomnia. And then also I did experience like dull cramping, um, not like right off the bat, but probably midway through the two weeks. I had some dull cramping and I remember like walking ginger outside and I remember thinking like, huh, is this what implantation cramping feels like? Like, you know, I have no idea, but I did have dull cramping to, it didn't hurt. It was like, I noticed it, I acknowledged it, but it, it was just what it was. And I didn't, um, it didn't feel like period cramps or anything like that. So yeah, I would say insomnia. I did have some dull cramping. And then um, the the day, I think it, yeah, the day I was supposed to get my period and which was the day that we ended up testing, I did have just one time um, like s some type of bleeding, but it was like literally one time. Like it wasn't an ongoing thing. I just, I bled once, a very, very light. Like I, I don't, it, I almost don't even know if I can consider it bleeding. Um, it was super light one time, that was it. So yeah, I was like, well, I know when you Google stuff, things say like implantation bleeding can happen. So I was like, huh, okay, that happened. And then I literally, I tested positive, never happened again. So that just was what it was. So that was like the whole two week period for me. And then going into like the thick of the first trimester, my biggest symptom of all was just utter exhaustion. Um, I like, I could not get off the couch. I would go to work and I'd come home and take like a two hour nap, get up, like get myself ready for bed and then go to bed. Like I was so utterly exhausted. It was rough. And that lasted, I mean, pretty much the entire first trimester. Um, and so that like exhaustion, I would say was number one, but I did experience, um, food aversions for sure, which I feel like very, very lucky and blessed that I didn't actually ever experience like morning sickness. But with that being said, I did feel nauseous. Like there were many times that I would like feel queasy and stuff, but I never felt the urge to have to be sick. It was just like, mm, that's a sucky feeling. And then it would pass or it would come back or whatever. Um, so I did feel quite a bit of like queasiness, but never actually got sick. And I started off actually, I want to say, within those like maybe first two weeks of the first trimester, I was having like like cravings. I was like, is this too early to be having cravings? But 
it was like I needed a smoothie every day. Like I felt like if I didn't have smoothie, a smoothie, it was going to be a bad day. Like, or the day just wasn't gonna happen if I didn't have a smoothie. Um, so smoothies were definitely number one. Um, and then I remember there being one day that I like genuinely needed a pulled pork sandwich, which is kind of weird for me because I don't, I'm not like the biggest fan of barbecue. Um, so I had Sean take me to Mission Barbecue. Um, yeah, so I definitely had some like, some cravings, but the biggest one was smoothies. And smoothies, honestly, like that hasn't really gone away. Like I just, I've wanted like cold, refreshing, fruity things pretty much the whole time. Um, but that only lasted maybe a week or two and then it like fully went into food aversions and almost just everything sounded disgusting to me. Um, like even a bowl of pasta, which like pasta is probably my favorite food, but just a bowl of pasta, I was like, but like that is actually the most disgusting thing. Can't look at it, can't do it. Um, and I remember, I, I remember having Sean, like I really wanted him to make, it was like beef and peppers. I really wanted him to make that and like I ate it and it was the best thing I ever had. And then literally like the next day it was actually like the thought of eating it, I was like, I'll hurl, like I cannot eat this. So that was just such a weird thing. Um, and obviously it's like, I can't help it, but it definitely makes like planning meals and stuff not the easiest. Um, probably more for your spouse, <laughs> but yeah, so that was interesting. I remember kind of having an aversion, um, getting nauseous once from peanut butter. Yeah, so that was kind of weird. And it was, but really like the food aversions, it was pretty much everything. Like just everything sounded disgusting except for like bread, just bread, like a pretzel, um, or a cracker, just plain bread so really healthy right um yeah so food aversions that lasted i want to say that was probably week like eight nine ten eleven it was that that was kind of a while which would just kind of sucked um and yeah mainly just like a bummer you know it was just being like i know i'm supposed to be eating especially eating well for the baby and i just don't want anything it all sounds gross um so that was kind of just like a weird thing but yeah i don't think i'm missing anything i think like the biggest one for me was definitely exhaustion um i i oh I, you know what i missed too there was a time in the two week period that sean tried to tell me something and i kind of had like a snippy response back and I remember we like looked at each other and I, I remember being like, dude, like if I'm not pregnant, like oof, I need to relax here. But that, I mean, I feel like that happened maybe once. He probably would be like, you yeah, happened more than once. But it wasn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I've been like very, very moody. If any, I, I think I've just been really tired, you know? Um, but yeah, there was one time in that two week period that I just specifically remember being like, Okay, that was snippy for no reason, you know? Um, but I would say I'm pretty happy now. And now in the second trimester, um, I don't know if I'll do a second trimester recap or not, but right now I I would say second trimester, my, my skin has not been the best, um, which is fine, you know, whatever. Um, skin has not been the best. I did choreograph a show actually through my first trimester, which was kind of bizarre. So much fun, so glad that I did it. Um, but it was like during my most exhausted time and I was from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and really only sitting down during like lunch break per se. Um, that, was, that was pretty tiring. However, I will say like I was always glad that I was being active and had the opportunity to be active and creative and in the like theater space um so that was fun but i was really tired <laughs> everybody everybody knew it but that's fine um but yeah right now i'm 
pretty much back to like everything I can eat anything like everything just tastes good um, I'm not really having aversions anymore I'm still probably more tired than usual and but like better better than first trimester I would say and I feel I feel pretty chill I'm getting a little bit anxious or not anxious but antsy rather um, to find out the gender we don't know yet we will find that out at our 20 week anatomy 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 scan um which is in a couple weeks from now so hopefully we find out the like last week of august or maybe first week of september and then there will be a video for that as well which we're just getting like we're we're basically just at the point of just like being antsy to know because it's just weird, you know, I don't, I mean, kudos to like those that can wait. Like, I, I think it's really cool. I lack in patience. It's not my um, best thing. So I, I definitely am at the point where I'm like, I just want to know. I don't care either way. I just want to like start envisioning like our family, you know, and, and to me, like that'll make the registry and stuff more fun. And I don't know, just like little things like that. Um, and also we're set on both boy name and girl name. So for us, it would be nice to kind of like, just at home, like refer to the baby as their name um, and not just like, I'm pregnant, <laughs> like, you know. So that's where we're at. So stay tuned a couple weeks from now and there will be a gender reveal video. but. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.